So you're getting ready for Security Plus. This was one of my favorite exams when I started in IT. It is still one of the most well recognized and at some point even expected at certain points in your career, depending on where you're headed. So as you go through and study, I want you to keep some things in mind. We're gonna do a quick objective review and really get a feel for what's gonna be on this thing when you go take the exam. So the new 501 has six objectives or domains, which means six places where they really focus uh, their questions. The first is threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities, and that makes about 20% of your test. So you're gonna wanna be familiar and comfortable with, first off, the difference between those three things and what types of vulnerabilities there are, at what point do they become attacks, and kind of those finite details to make sure that you know the differences between them and what types of threats and attacks are out there. Another about 20 to 25% of your test is going to be made up of technologies and tools. So what tools do we have at our disposal to protect ourselves, to even be aware of these vulnerabilities, to scan for these vulnerabilities and attacks. Uh, so make sure that you're comfortable with that. Make sure that you go out there and research what types of tools are available. You may see some of those on the test. About 15% of it is architecture and design. So really, how do you set yourself up for IT security success? 16 and 14% respectively are identity and access management and uh, risk management. You'll see a lot of questions that actually kind of overlap with those because it is a risk to not have proper identity management. And all that means is who has access to your system and how do you ensure that people that don't have access to your system aren't accessing it. So a lot of times you'll hear the word access. It's one of the most popular words in the Security Plus uh, studying and the exam itself. So make sure you understand what's called the CIA triad, the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data, of systems. Um, that's gonna be a big deal. You'll see it all over the place. The last objective, which makes up about 12% of the test, is cryptography. And I think that's kind of a shady way to put it, to be honest, because cryptography falls in some of those other domains or objectives as well, because this is one of the ways that we go through and protect our data and encrypt our information. So even though cryptography has its own domain, you'll find that it really does apply all over the place. So for me, I personally think it's more than 12% of your exam. Anyways. Those are the six objectives. One of the best things that you can do is make sure that you are well prepared for your exam. And one of the ways that I do that is I will go to go, go to Google, I will search for the CompTIA Security Plus objectives and go look at the PDF that CompTIA themselves have created. They are literally gonna tell you exactly what they expect you to know. Now it's a decently long PDF, so I don't want you to be intimidated by it, but it's full of bullet points, acronyms, and really the specific things that they want you to be familiar with. So before you schedule your test, after you've been studying for a while, I would recommend going in there and just reviewing the objectives and make sure nothing looks completely scary or foreign to you. If you see an acronym and you have no idea what it means, go look it up, go watch a video on it, make sure that you're familiar and comfortable with it because even if they don't ask a question about that specific objective, or excuse me, that specific acronym, you will get questions around that objective because everything's gonna land on your test. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to us at IMIT, and Google is a resource, don't let it down. Use these things to your advantage, get great books, get great instruction as far as videos or live tutoring, and make sure that you're using what CompTIA gives you for free to be successful on your exams. See you soon.